So now that we have our class library project inside of our solution, let's go ahead and start to migrate or move some of our contents. So we'll start off by, and this is my preference, I'm going to delete class1.cs. It's a default. I don't really need it. I've already got some models in place, and I just want to bring those over into my Quickly POS.business project. So I'm going to take all of the models underneath my models folder, and I'm actually going to take also the models folder itself. I'm just going to drag it and drag it into the Quickly POS.business project. What will happen is that a copy will be made of that folder and the files from my Windows format. Now we're going to do some destructive work. We're going to right click on models and we're going to choose delete. And what this is going to do is it will delete the model from our Windows form project. So now what we've done is we've migrated those models. Now these models still are under the namespace cp underscore first windows app dot models. And for the meantime, we'll leave them there. And to show that even though we've deleted those models out of the Windows form app, because we have that reference to the quickly pos.business, we're able to go back and build our app again and have it build successfully. So what is happening now is that the CP first Windows app is pulling the classes from quickly pos.business. Now, another breaking change that we'll do is we're going to change this namespace. We're going to make it say quickly pos.business.models. I'm going to go ahead and copy that because I need to make that change to sales orders and I need to make that change to sales order items. Now this change, because it is a breaking change, is going to actually change the namespace reference within the Windows Form app. So if we go back now and we rebuild, we're going to end up with build errors. And we'll notice here that it's saying that the namespace of models does not exist in CP first Windows app. So I'm going to double click here, I'm going to look, and it's basically a using statement that's no longer valid. So there's a few ways we can approach this. We can come in and just like we did inside of our classes, we can then change the using statement to say quickly pos.business and dot models, and that'll fix all of our references. That's the, probably the most direct way. The other alternative would be to delete the using statement and then come back down and find one of our classes, such as product, and then use the quick actions menu to re-add the correct using statement. It's six of one, half dozen of the other. It's really up to you. But the goal here is to make sure that you're making our using statement match the namespace of the models that we're referencing in our class library. So let's go ahead and do another build. This time I'm just going to press F6. Or if you're on a Mac, you want to push function F6. And we still have some bad references. So I'll click, double click. This using statement is bad. So this time I'll delete the using statement entirely. I'll come down to one of our classes that's now inside of the quickly pos.business project. And I'll drop down here and I'll say using quickly pos.business.models. And that'll then get added as a using statement above. So again, we'll do another build and those two updates took care of all of our references. Everything is now using the quickly pos.business project 